Hey, what's up everyone? You're here with Gordon from Pig Dogs, and thank you for joining me here for your free picks for Saturday, uh, April 6th. Well, guys, another weekend ahead of us, another big weekend ahead of us with a bunch of great games on Saturday and Sunday. And as usual, you are getting a parlay of the day at the end of this video and the video for Sunday as well. Uh, on top of all these games in Europe, we have a big slate in the MLS once again. And you can find a pick for every single one of those games in the separate video. Uh, so make sure you go up to the YouTube, uh, to the Pig Dogs YouTube channel. Make sure you check it out, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. Of course, that does help us a lot in promoting our channel. Uh, now, there were some comments asking me uh, where to bet on cards, on, 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 on certain uh, betting sites. Uh, like I said, there might be... Uh, some differences between the US uh, site and the Canada site. I know that up here in Canada we have all of it. Uh, basically every single book that we have has uh, cards offer at least for those top five European football leagues. Uh, if your book don't if 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 your book doesn't have it uh, you can definitely check out some other books that are legal in your state if you're from the USA. <laughs> And uh, you can simply go to the Pig Dogs website, go to that uh, sports books tabs uh, tab on the left hand side, and uh, just uh, select your state and check uh, all the books that are listed there. And you don't even have to register; you can just go check out their offer on whatever sport you like and see if they have uh, what uh, what we are betting here, especially the cards. And I mostly do bets on the cards on those uh, bigger games in the top five European football leagues and like I said uh, pretty much every book should have those in offer I know that they do up here in Canada uh, uh, we do have a bunch of great games guys on Saturday and we are going to kick it off with Crystal Palace versus Manchester City first game of the day in the EPL uh, of course Manchester City is the favorite here they are coming off of a 4-1 win against Aston Villa uh, and uh, they look to be back to their goal scoring ways. They haven't lost any of their last 10 games on the road. They haven't lost any of their last 24 games overall. Well, Crystal Palace has been improving, but uh, they are coming off of a loss to Bournemouth and they're not scoring a lot of goals right now. Now, can Crystal Palace be a threat here to Manchester City? Maybe a slight threat. They might muster a shot or two on target, but with the amount of injuries they have, we simply have to go with City to win it over two and a half goals at minus 115. I think that's an excellent price and we have to take advantage of it. Uh, even though it's the first game of the day in the EPL, I think that uh, that this was going to go City's way and they will continue to race uh, with Arsenal and Liverpool to the top of the table. Aston Villa is hosting Brentford and I honestly don't know what to think about Brentford. They haven't won any of their last eight games. Uh, they got a nil-nil draw against Brighton. Before that, they got a 1-1 draw against Manchester United. Uh, they are not scoring a lot of goals overall, but they have been scoring goals quite consistently. Uh, Aston Villa on the other side uh, is a little bit sloppy when playing on the road, but when they are playing at home, they are basically unbeatable, and uh, they are still fighting to stay in the top four and qualify for the Champions League, and I think they will get a win here. The minus 143 is not a bad price on the money line. But since we are taking this risk, I decided to do to add goals as well. And uh, I'm going to take Aston Villa to win and over two and a half goals at plus 118. Everton is quite a big favorite here against Burnley uh, at home, even though they haven't won any of their last 10 games. Well, Burnley is actually undefeated in the last four games. And they haven't given up on their season just yet. Uh, Burnley has a series of nice and positive results. Uh, which is definitely giving them a chance uh, to stay in the EPL for next season. They just need a few more points. Now, they are uh, in 19th place with 19 points, and they are six points away from Nottingham Forest, uh, who is in 17th, just above their relegation zone. And uh, if they can keep playing like this for another couple of weeks or so, I think that uh, Burnley will give themselves a decent chance of uh, staying in the, in the EPL. Uh, both teams have a few injuries. Uh, Burnley also has a couple of suspensions, but uh, with the way they have been playing, and uh, they have been playing uh, quite a bit shorthanded with a few red cards in their last few games, uh, they have still not. They still did a great job, and I think they will do a good job here as well. I don't think that Everton should be the favorites that they are, even though overall they are probably the better team. 
but I think this is going to be a very tight and competitive game. So uh, I'm going to take the draw in this one at plus 300. You can tell that the books are not expecting it because otherwise it would be like plus 220, 230 or so. Uh, but uh, I could definitely see a 1-1 result between these two teams in the EPL. Fulham is hosting Newcastle and uh, here we have two teams uh, very much incapable of defending right now. Fulham has conceded four go uh, six goals in their last two games. They have scored four. Uh, the good news is that they can score goals and the good news is that Newcastle can score a lot of goals as well. Uh, on the road, Newcastle has scored 25 goals. Uh, Fulham has scored 29 at home. And this game definitely smells like a huge over two and a half. I think it's going to be uh, at least three goals, if not more, in this one. But then again, we have to look for some value somewhere. Even both teams to score at over two and a half was around minus 145, 148, depends on the book. But uh, because the goals are expected, I expect shots on target as well. So... Over nine and a half shots on target at minus 114. I think that's a great pick. I think as soon as we see one goal, everything's going to open up completely and both teams will try to attack even, even more. And uh, with that in mind, guys, I think we're going to see some shots on target. Luton Town is hosting Bournemouth in the next matchup in the EPL and uh, they also still have a great chance of staying in the EPL. They just need to get back on the winning track as they haven't beaten anyone in their last 11 games. Bournemouth on the other side is undefeated in their last five and they are now on a three game winning streak and all of those wins were when playing at home. Uh, the good news, I guess, for Bournemouth is that they're not playing that strong of a team and uh, Luton Town on top of that has a bunch of injuries and suspensions as well, which means that their depth will be a problem in this game. But uh, they are consistently scoring goals and they are in the fight all the time. They never give up and uh, even if they are down two or three goals, they manage to get on the score sheet and uh, they manage to somehow make a comeback in pretty much all of their games so far. Uh, so I think that the only way to go here is both teams to score at over two and a half at minus 139. It's a bit juiced, yes, but uh, it's not that bad of a price. So Luton Town versus Bournemouth, both teams to score at over two and a half goals. Wolverhampton and West Ham is another interesting matchup in the EPL and uh, Wolverhampton is in a bit of a slump right now. They are missing a few players. Uh, because of the injuries and it's uh, really messing with their form. They are now without a win in their last three games. Uh, West Ham on the other side has lost only one of their last five, but they, they have all, also won only one of their last six games. Uh, and on top of that, their defense has been a bit of a mess as of late, as they conceded at least a goal in each of their last three games. I think this is also going to be a fairly competitive game, and both teams still have a few injuries or suspensions. And uh, both teams are still fighting to get uh, to that European spot. Uh, Wolverhampton in 11th place, 42 points. West Ham is 7th with 45 points. And on top of that, West Ham has a very big game against Leverkusen in the Europa League next week. So we'll see how they will deal with that. Uh, are they going to be arresting someone or not? But uh, in this game, guys, uh, I think that if something's going to happen, it's going to be in the second half. I think that both teams will focus a little bit more on defense in this one rather than the offense to start off the game. But then in the second half, I think it's going to open up. They will become a little bit more relaxed and focused a little bit more in the attack again. So uh, Wolverhampton versus West Ham, first half draw at plus 120. And for the last pick of the day in the EPL, we have Brighton hosting Arsenal. Uh, probably the biggest game of the day in the EPL. Uh, Brighton has been in a very sloppy form overall. They have won two of their last six games, but they haven't won any of their last two games overall. On top of that, Brighton has scored only two goals in their last three games. And that's a problem coming from a team that uh, was probably one of the best and most consistent teams in the league at the start of the season and the team that was highly, highly dangerous. Uh, I'm sure that the injuries have a lot with that. Uh, Solly March is out, Bitoma is out, James Milner, uh, Billy Gilmore as well. Uh, I see that Evan Ferguson is listed as questionable, but we'll see what's going to happen with that. Arsenal on the other side is in the second place right now. They are still in the title race with City and Liverpool. Uh, they are coming off of a 2-0 win against Luton Town, but they're not as, as effective in the attacking end as we are used to seeing them. Uh, Bukayo Saka listed as questionable, but I think he will be in the starting lineup here in this game. 
but we have to keep in mind that Arsenal is playing against Bayern Munich in the Champions League next week. Now, I'm sure that they will not give up on this game. They need a win and they need it to stay in the title race. Uh, but uh, we'll see what they can do against uh, Brighton, who tends to step up their game against the big teams in the EPL. So, uh, because the prices are as they are, I, I'm not basically... I don't know. I'm kind of not willing to put my money on 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 Arsenal at this point, but I will take Brighton over three and a half shots on target at minus one thirty nine. As sloppy as they have been, they have been creating decent amount of chances, and they basically regularly take a lot of shots on target as well. So I'm gonna take Brighton over three point five shots on target at minus one thirty nine. Uh, in Spain, guys, this weekend we do not have La Liga going on, but we have uh, Copa del Rey finale between Athletic Bilbao and Mallorca. And uh, I think it's going to be a very interesting game. Athletic Bilbao has been outstanding this season. They're playing really well. Uh, they are dangerous in the attacking end. They are scoring goals. Uh, and uh, Mallorca on the other side is not a bad team overall. They have had some solid results, but uh, they haven't been that successful against Athletic Bilbao in the past, and they're not scoring a lot of goals right now. Now, have in mind that this is a single leg matchup. Of course, it's a finale. It's being played at a neutral venue, I think, in Sevilla. Uh, and uh, I simply have to take Athletic Bilbao on the money line. The price is now minus 143, as you can see, went from uh, minus 154 when I made the backgrounds. Uh, but. Uh, I think that Athletic Bilbao will come out flying in this one. I think that they will do everything they can to get a win out of this one. And I think they will win the trophy uh, against Mallorca in Copa del Rey. So I'm going to take Athletic Bilbao on the money line at minus 143. Now we are off to German Bundesliga, guys, where we have uh, Heidenheim hosting Bayern Munich, who is coming off of a loss against Borussia Dortmund 2-0 at home, and it was a huge, huge disappointing result for Bayern Munich. Now, I'm pretty sure that they gave up on the title in Bundesliga, and they will solely focus on the Champions League, where they have to face Arsenal next week. Uh... While Heidenheim on the other side is above the relegation zone, very much far from it, and they will be staying in the league. However, they haven't won any of their last seven games, and they have always lost to Bayern Munich in the past. They have lost 4-2 in the reverse fixture of this matchup earlier this season, and uh, a few years ago they lost uh, in the quarterfinals of the DFB Pokal 5-4 against Bayern Munich as well. I think that Bayern Munich will do everything they can to get back on the winning track. I think that they will take this game very seriously, uh, try to score a few goals in the first half, take care of the job here, and then give a rest to some of the players who will be playing against Arsenal next week. And with that in mind, guys, I'm taking Bayern to win at over 3.5 goals at plus 135. Cold is hosting Bochum uh, in the next matchup, and this is pretty much a must-win game for Cold. Uh, still, theoretically, they have a decent chance of staying in the league at the moment, uh, Cole is uh, in the 17th place with 19 points, uh, 7 points away from Bochum who are in the safe zone in that 15th place, while only 1 point away from Mainz in that uh, promotion relegation playoff spot which is number 16. Uh, Cole has been anything but consistent this season, they haven't won any of their last 7 games. Bochum hasn't won any of their last five games while losing four of those five. And they have only one win, four draws, and eight losses on the road so far this season. Now, Cole has had success in the past against Bochum when playing at home. And I definitely think that they should be the favorites in this one. However, it's going to be an incredibly tight game because both teams are trying to get out or stay away from the relegation zone. And... Uh, I just think that Cole at home should win this game, to be honest. I think that overall they are a bit better right now. And with that in mind, I'm going to take a bit of a risk and I'm going to take Cole on the money line. Union Berlin will be hosting Bayer Leverkusen, who is marching towards the title and is now on a five-game winning streak. Now, in the Europa League next week, Leverkusen is playing against West Ham, but the good news is that they are playing at home, so they will get plenty of rest. Uh, Union Berlin, on the other side, hasn't lost any of their last three games. They are now pretty much safe uh, from their relegation zone. They are in 12th place. Sure, they could use maybe a few more wins so far this season, but uh, it's going to be a very hard task to, to, to accomplish against Leverkusen, who is undefeated in their last, I don't know, 40-something games. 
and they have 11 wins and two two draws on the road so far this season. Uh, when it comes to injuries, uh, Union Berlin is missing three players. Uh, Leverkusen is missing only one player. That's uh, Arthur, who has been out for pretty much the entire season. Uh, but uh, Leverkusen is a goal-scoring machine right now. They have scored 68 goals so far this season. Uh, Union Berlin has conceded 42 goals, and 19 of those were conceded when playing at home. So uh, I do like uh, Leverkusen to win in this one. I just see that I have the price right. It's probably plus 105. Uh, let me look at this real quick. No, actually, it's minus 182 to plus 475 that Union Berlin has. I forgot to change the numbers. I do apologize. Uh, but uh, Leverkusen definitely should be the favorites here, and I am leaning towards Leverkusen, of course. But uh, you can never uh, kind of write off Union Berlin. I think that they could pull off a draw in this one, but for that to happen, they will need to score at least a couple of goals, in my opinion. So I do expect a fairly open matchup where Leverkusen will dominate, and uh, I will go with over 2.5 in this one at minus 125. It's not a problem for Leverkusen to score two or three or, 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 or more goals. They have done it plenty of times this season, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they done it here as well. Mainz is hosting Darmstadt, who basically is already uh, relegated. While Mainz is trying to, to get out of the relegation zone, they're trying to stay in that playoff uh, spot. And uh, luckily for them, they're playing against uh, Darmstadt, who hasn't beaten them in any of their last three games at home. And they haven't won any of their last 21 games overall. Uh, Darmstadt on the road so far this season, one win, five draws and seven losses. And uh, defensively, they are one big mess. They are conceding a ton of goals, whether they played at home or on the road. And overall, they have conceded 67 goals so far this season. Now, Mainz has been far from a good team this season. They are fighting for their lives in Bundesliga. They are trying to stay afloat. Uh, and they're trying to save themselves. And uh, this is a must-win game for them. There's no cut. There's no room for error here. There's no room for any of the calculations or something like that. Mainz has to go for it. They have to attack, they have to score goals, and uh, I will put my faith in them, to be honest. I will take Mainz minus 1 at minus 139. Freiburg and Leipzig is one of the biggest games of the day in Bundesliga, and I think it should be a very good competitive match here. Uh, Freiburg is coming off of a 3-0 win against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Leipzig unfortunately got a 0-0 draw against Mainz, even though they had a, like a ton of chances, a ton of shots, they had like... 15 quarters or something like that. They just couldn't score a goal, which means that uh, somebody will have to pay for that. And uh, it, it might as well be Freiburg. Uh, in the head-to-head -head matchups, guys, we have seen some overs. We have seen some unders as well. Uh, but uh, I think we've seen more both teams to score in over two and a half than not. So I think this is going to be a very much open game. Leipzig trying to stay in the top four to qualify for the Champions League. Freiburg trying to get to that Europa League spot. So... Uh, both teams to score in over two and a half goals at minus 120. That seems very reasonable to me, guys, and I like the price a lot. So, Freiburg versus Leipzig, both teams to score and over two and a half goals. Uh, Borussia Dortmund and Stuttgart is the last game of the day in the uh, in Bundesliga, and we have two teams in an amazing form. Dortmund uh, on the five-game winning streak, uh, Stuttgart undefeated in their last uh, seven games in a row. Uh, and uh, only one of those seven, actually two of those seven games haven't gone over two and a half goals. Against Heidenheim last week, Stuttgart got a 3-3 draw with a goal in the last minute. Uh, they had a 2 0 lead in that one and they gambled it away. Uh, they are quite lucky to get a draw of that one. While well, Borussia Dortmund is flying pretty high right now after beating Bayern Munich. And uh, they are playing against Atletico Madrid in the Champions League next week. So uh, we might see a bit of a shuffle lineup from them. But whoever ends up playing in this game should be able to score goals against Stuttgart, who are very sloppy defensively right now. So I'm going to take a bit of a risk here, guys. Uh, I'm going to take both teams to score in the first half at plus 200. Uh, both teams to score in over two and a half is like minus 154, which might be good enough for a double or something like that. But as a single, I will take a bit of a gamble here, and I will take both teams to score in the first half. In the Italian Serie A, guys, we have a couple of great games to talk about, and the first one is between Milan and Lecce. Uh, Milan is in a great form right now. They are on a, uh, that is, 
six game winning streak during which they scored a bunch of goals they kept a few clean sheets they have beaten some great teams and they are now in the second place in the italian Serie A standings uh let's show the other side has been a little bit all over the place but they haven't lost any of their last two games and um uh, we know that they're not a great goal scoring team they're not scoring a lot and they have only one win six draws and eight losses when playing on their own while milan hasn't lost to lecce in any of their last eight home games uh any of their last 11 home games uh, the good news i guess uh is that milan will have enough time to rest for their europa league match against roma next week as they are playing it at home as well so there's no travel involved in them and uh I don't think that they will be giving any of the rest to someone, maybe in the second half if they have a favorable result. But I think that even with their main players, if they end up being rested, I think that Milan is a much, much better team here. Uh, and I think they will get a win. However, to get a decent price out of this game, we have to go with Lecce and something for, from them. So uh, I will take Lecce over two and a half shots on target at minus 140. Roma and Lazio are facing off on Saturday as well. Derby della Capitale, guys. Two teams playing on the same stadium from the same city. Uh, two teams in a solid form. Uh, Lazio played in Coppa Italia earlier this week. Lost to Juventus 2-0. Uh, Roma on the other side had a game against Lecce. And uh, that game actually ended in a building draw, which was quite disappointing. But uh, overall, the games between these two teams are almost always eventful and with a bunch of yellow cards and red cards as well now i don't think that uh i was looking at the line for cards it's 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 over seven and a half cards at like minus 110 or something like that a uh, red card to be awarded to any of the teams is plus 150 right now and i think it's definitely worth a shot to take that at half a unit but I also think that we are going to see goals in this one. Uh, Juventus uh, has beaten Lazio 2-0. Uh, Roma got uh, a 0-0 draw last week against Lecce, which was disappointing. So neither team scored a goal in their last games. And I think that's going to come back here in this game. So I'm going to take both teams to score at minus 120. In the French League 1, guys, we have one game to talk about. And that is a game between uh, PSG and Clermont. Uh, PSG is coming off of a win in the French Cup against uh, Rain earlier this week. Uh, it was a 1-0 win. Before that, they have beaten Marseille 2-0 on the road. And they are marching towards another title. Uh, Clermont is at the bottom of the table with 20 points. They will be getting relegated. They are a very sloppy team this season. They are not scoring a lot. They are conceding even more than that. And uh, they have a lot of problems on both ends. So I think this is going to be all PSG. But have in mind that PSG is playing in uh, in the Champions League against Barcelona next week. So uh, don't go on and take any of the player props like Mbappe or or the Bell or somebody else because they might be getting subbed early in the second half, yeah, maybe even a half them if they have a favorable result. Uh, so stay away from the uh, from the player props. But uh, I do think that PSG will get the job done in this one. So I will take PSG minus two at minus 122 which basically means that if psg wins by two goals uh we are getting a push if they win by three or more we are gonna get a win but honestly i wouldn't be shocked to see a 3-0 4-0 win for psg in this one so psg versus clermont psg minus two at minus 122 and for the parlay of the day guys i have a nice five legger for you pays on the plus 418 uh fuller versus newcastle over two and a half goals Freiburg versus Leipzig over 1.5 goals. Dortmund versus Stuttgart over 2.5 goals. PSG win and over 1.5 goals. And Sporting versus Benfica in the Portuguese Primeira Liga. Both teams to score. That's it, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me here. These were our free picks for Saturday. Like I said, check out those MLS free picks up on the Pink Dogs YouTube channel, guys. Hit that like button and uh, for my best bets, click the link in the description and that will get you up to my page where you can sign up. That's it, guys. Good luck with all of your bets. Have a great day and uh, I'll see you soon with more free picks.